Today, I'm going to show you how to upgrade your laptop's memory, storage and Wi-Fi the easy way. The first thing you need to do is check whether these components can actually be upgraded in your laptop. Many modern laptops like MacBooks have everything soldered and therefore they can't be upgraded after you purchase them. So before you run out to buy new parts, please research whether the parts you want to upgrade can actually be replaced in your laptop. If you aren't sure, check out our reviews. If we've done one on your laptop, we do usually call this out. Or I'd recommend checking a site like Notebook Check. They have detailed breakdowns on almost all laptops and include what is upgradable. All right, now that you know what you can upgrade, it is important that you buy the right parts. For example, DDR4 memory will not fit in DDR5 memory slots and vice versa. The manufacturer of your laptop should have a tech specs page available. That will outline what type of memory and storage your laptop supports. When it comes to Wi-Fi cards, these are quite universal, so most Wi-Fi cards will work in any laptop. If you'd like to know the parts that we use when we upgrade our laptops, I've posted a link to our website in the description down below, so go check that out. The parts listed there are the ones that we just feel confident in and can get behind. Also, if you aren't sure how much memory you should buy, we do have a video out on that too, which will also be linked down below. Once you've chosen your parts, you'll want to buy a screwdriver suitable for laptops and a spudger kit. Once you have all the parts you need, you're ready to perform the upgrade. Now, word from the wise. Make sure you've backed up all your critical data either in the cloud or on an external drive before you upgrade. And if you are upgrading your primary storage drive, make sure that you have created a bootable USB key of your operating system so that you can boot up the laptop after the upgrade. Please note that there are migration tools available that will copy all your existing data to your new drive and make it bootable, but you'll probably need to buy an external SSD enclosure to use that. Now that you've backed up your data, if you are using Windows, I would advise that you disable BitLocker disk encryption. If you don't do this, you may find that Windows just won't boot afterwards and it will request that you go through an annoying process of visiting a Microsoft website to enter a very long key into your laptop. This is particularly important if you're upgrading the storage, but it could also be triggered if you're upgrading the memory as well. Anyway, now that you've backed up, ensure the laptop is turned off, flip the laptop over, placing it on a surface that won't scratch your lid. Carefully undo each screw so that they don't strip. Open the laptop slightly to place your palm on the palm rest, then gently push so that the back of the laptop starts to come off. Place a plastic spudging tool in the gap and wedge the back off the laptop. Do not use a metal tool as it can scratch your device. And don't use your fingernails, a lot of pain can come from that. If the back won't come off your laptop, it likely has screws underneath its rubber feet. You'll need to remove the rubber feet before removing those screws. Please note, a small number of laptops that we've encountered like the Framework laptop do have their internals accessed underneath the keyboard deck. I'm going to treat this as out of scope for this video as it's definitely a minority, but just don't be surprised if you find that. Once the back is off, remove the battery's power cable and wait a couple of seconds. This will ensure that your laptop is truly off and no power is running through it. If you do have further concerns about shorting your laptop, you could invest in an anti-static wrist strap. That being said, I've upgraded many laptops and never experienced an issue with that. To upgrade your laptop's memory, you'll want to find the memory slot or slots. They look like this. To remove the existing memory, you want to push on the clips holding the memory in place. It will then pop out. Slide the old memory out, gently replace it with your new memory and push it down so that it clips back in place. To upgrade the storage, find the SSD drive and unscrew it. That is if there is already a storage drive in there. Some laptops do come with a spare SSD slot, so you won't find a drive already in there. Anyway, if there is one in it that you are replacing, remove it as I said, slide the new drive in and screw it down. To upgrade your laptop's Wi-Fi, find the Wi-Fi card and unscrew it. You'll then need to disconnect the antenna cables. Get your new card and snap back in the antenna cables by matching the colors indicated on the card. Pro tip here, it can be very hard to snap the antenna cables in if the card is not held at a certain angle. So if you're having difficulties, try to snap in the antenna cables first before your new card is placed back in the slot. That will allow you to hold the card at the optimal angle for connecting those cables. Once you've placed it back in the slot with the antenna cables attached, screw it down. So you're done with your upgrade. Plug the battery cable back in and reassemble the back of the laptop. I would advise that you don't screw all the screws back in that's in the back of the laptop until you've at least booted the laptop once to check that everything is working. It will be a pain to fully unscrew the back of the laptop again if something is not. To verify that your storage is correctly recognized, open Disk Management on Windows and check that you see the drive. Please note that you may need to format the drive before it shows up in File Explorer. You can do that in that application. To verify that your RAM is correctly recognized, you can open Task Manager and check the amount of memory there. To confirm even more details about the memory you've installed, use the free Hardware Info application. 
To verify that your Wi-Fi is correctly installed, open Device Manager and check that the model matches what you expect. Note, occasionally a laptop will not have the correct Wi-Fi drivers installed for a new card. If this occurs, what we recommend doing is keeping an Ethernet cable and dongle on hand, so that you can connect your laptop directly to the router. That way your operating system will be able to download the new drivers. On that note, it's always good to run a system update after you've installed any new hardware, just in case there are specific drivers or even firmware to be installed. And if you turned off BitLocker disk encryption, don't forget to turn it back on. Well, that's it. Pretty simple. If you are interested in the laptops we recommend for various types of users, check out our website as we list them there. And if you like this video, get subscribed, smash that like button. Not only does it help our channel grow, which means that we can create more videos for you, but as I always say, it makes my dearest mother very proud. Till next time, go do something awesome with your day and I will catch you later.